and that he cry out briefly from the sepulchre with fear and great joy, and did run to his disciples' world. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them, saying, All hail! And they came and held him by the feet and worshipped him. Then said Jesus unto them, Be not afraid. Go tell my brethren that they go into Galilee, and there shall they see him. Now when they were going, behold, some of the watch came into the city and showed unto the chief priest all the things that were done. And when they were assembled with the elders and had taken counsel, they gave large money unto the soldiers, saying, Say ye, his disciples came by night and stole him away while we slept. And if this comes to the governor's ear, we will persuade him and secure you. So they took the money and did as they were taught. And this saying is commonly reported among the Jews until this day. Then the eleven disciples went away to Galilee, into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said unto them, saying, For all of you Go ye, therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, mm -hmm. and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the world. Amen. Here to, to be our musician today, uh, will he and Samaje lead us in song? Amen.
kiss you are the laughter that shatters all my fears when I'm all alone your hand is there to hold right. oh Jesus you're the same
Yeah. Amen. Uh, this is the word of the Lord in your hearing. Yeah. Amen. 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 In the presence Amen. of the Lord and his angel. few weeks, uh, we have examined how we can win souls to Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Amen. So that they also, along with ourselves, can have eternal life. Eternal life with Jesus Christ is my goal. Yeah. I want others to experience God's wonderful love also. Uh -huh. I want others to experience God's plan for their lives. I want others to recognize the hope that is in Jesus Christ. Yeah. With the four spiritual laws we have shared, we can be empowered to reach others for Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Winning souls for Jesus Christ has become a priority, has to become a priority for every believer in Jesus Christ. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As believers, we have one mission that Jesus gave us, and that is to tell somebody else yeah. about him. Yeah. God yeah. wants us to be as excited about telling someone about him yeah. as we are accepting his blessings. Amen, amen. amen. Yeah. The Lord wants us to see what he sees in other people. Yeah. Yeah. People who need him but are so deceived that they won't believe that, they, that he loves them enough to give his son, Jesus, for their chance for yes. freedom. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. In Washington, it is said that there was graffiti from the 1800s that was discovered by workers renovating the Washington Monument. It has quite a different tone from that usually found in today on the side of buildings and subway cars. Mm -hmm. Whoever, it said, whoever is the human instrument under God in the, com in the conversion of one soul erects a monument to his own memory, yeah. more lofty and enduring than this. Yeah. That read the inscription that was on the Washington Monument. Yeah. It's signed BFB. No one knows who it is or who left the small drawings and the 19th century dates on the other wall. <coughs> but the markings in the lobby of that monument were covered over when it was decorated at the turn of the century. They found there when workers removed the, the marble as part of the year-long $500,000 renovation, though, that was just completed. That's when they found it. So somebody believed that the conversion of one soul mm -hmm. by a believer in Jesus Christ yeah. erects a monument to who they are. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so I think one of the questions today is, have you led anyone uh -huh. to Jesus Christ, uh -huh. yeah. to a relationship with the Lord. Yeah. And if you want to be remembered in life and eternity, we must win souls for the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So I want to talk today about something very briefly, mm -hmm. bringing it together to win souls. Oh, yeah. right. Evangelism, yeah. bringing it together to win souls. This text uh, that we shared is Somebody is waiting on your testimony. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jesus yeah. said unto them in, in Matthew 4, 19, he said unto them, follow me, yeah. and I will make you fishers of men. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. George Sweeting in his book, The No Guilt Guide for Witnessing, tells of a man by the name of John Currier, mm -hmm. who was, in 1949 was found guilty of murder and sentenced to life in prison. Later, he was transferred and paroled to work on a farm near Nashville, Tennessee. Now, 1949 was when he was sentenced. In 1968, his sentence was ended, terminated. He was done. And there was a letter of the good news that was sent to him that told him that he was to be freed. But John never saw the letter, yeah. nor was he told anything about it. So life on that farm was hard and without promise of a future. Mm -hmm. Yet John kept on doing what he was told even after farmers for whom he worked had died. Ten more years went by, and then a state parole officer learned about Courier's plight and found him and told him that his sentence had been terminated. Uh -huh. He was a free man. Yeah. Yeah. Sweeting concluded that story by asking this question. He said, would it matter to you if someone sent you an important message, mm -hmm. the most important in your life, All right. and, a year, and year after year the urgent message was never delivered? Mm -hmm. We who have heard the good news yeah. and experienced freedom through Christ 
are responsible to proclaim it to somebody else enslaved by sin. Yeah. Yeah. So the question is, are we doing all that we can to make sure that people get the message? All right. Somebody is waiting to hear from you. Yeah. Somebody yeah. needs to hear the, your testimony about God's deliverance for you. And the vast majority of us have been so concerned about our own lives, our own trials and tribulations, our own stuff, that we don't go tell somebody who needs to hear the good news of Jesus Christ, that God sent his son to come and live among us, to die amen, for us, amen. and then he died for our sins, and then he rose again. Amen. Amen. Somebody is waiting on your testimony. Somebody is watching you as a living testimony. Yeah, right. Somebody wants to see how you walk, how yeah. you talk, yeah. how you act. How do you deal with your situation? Yeah. Are you a chronic complainer that everything is always wrong? I don't feel good. My stuff is Bad. messed up. Uh -huh. I need more money. I don't have enough of this. I got this going on. And that's what people hear or see of yeah. you. That then becomes your testimony. Yeah. 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 And then why would somebody be interested in Jesus Christ Bad. if all they hear is Oh, woe is me. Come on, yeah. come on. Amen. As though Jesus has yeah. not done anything in our lives. Yeah. Somebody's waiting to hear your testimony. Yes. Yeah. And you, yeah. are you talking to someone about who Jesus is uh -huh. in your life? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. This four spiritual laws that we have been talking about yeah. is a guide to try to help you understand. Yeah. One, that God loves you. Mm -hmm. Two, that we are sinners yeah. and that yeah. God wants yeah. to be that person in our lives mm. so that they also can have the freedom mm. in Christ. Yeah. Yeah. The next thing I want to ask you, not only is there, there is somebody that's waiting on your testimony, but I want to ask you, have you been fishing lately? Oh. Uh, have hey. you been fishing? Uh, oh. Jesus in this, in this story finds Peter and Andrew aren't doing what they do. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're out fishing. Uh -huh. And he tells them in his encounter with them, he said, follow me. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll make you fishers. Of oh, men. Yeah. 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 So I'm asking the question, have you been fishing lately? Uh -huh. have, you, have you been willing to let down your net and go fishing All for right. people? Yeah. Have, you been, have you been willing to talk to somebody about Jesus Christ? Have you yeah. identified somebody that needs the Lord but hasn't accepted him in their life? Yeah. Are you fishing today? Yeah. I have to tell you, my confession is that never much cared for fishing. Mm -mm. I, 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 I like being on a boat, but mm -hmm. I didn't care much for fishing. Mm -hmm. but, but I do recall a time when I went fishing with my sons, mm -hmm. took them fishing because it was something that fathers ought to do have a time with their sons and so I took them fishing with a group of other men and we went on a boat and on, on we went out on Lake Erie to try to catch fish but the problem was on the day that we went out that the water was extremely choppy yeah and if anybody's been on a boat when the what when the boat is going up and down you get what seasick <laughs> and I sure enough got <laughs> and I'm hanging over the boat, waiting to finish things yeah. 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 while they're going yeah. Yeah. <laughs> through through the water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that was my experience. But because I wanted to do it for my kids, I wanted to make sure that they had the experience, <coughs> even though I was as sick as a dog. Mm -hmm. But it but it taught me something about fishing. Yeah. It taught me that in order to catch fish. You had to have the right area and the right bait. Yeah. 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 You, you got to have different fish are attracted to different bait. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You know, you can you can catch, you might not catch a marlin, which is a huge fish. You probably ain't going to catch a marlin with a worm. Uh -huh. You need another big fish because yeah. marlins are bigger than most fish. Uh -huh. So you need to have something to have a bait, which means then that I need to know where somebody stands in order for me to be able to talk to them amen, about Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Yeah. 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 Some of us spend so much time talking that we don't spend enough time listening to people and what they're going through. 
to be able to find uh -huh. out where the bait is, yes. oh, yeah. where the situation is, that I can talk about Jesus Christ mm -hmm. to them. Yeah. We talk so much, mm -hmm. and we're so involved in everything else about them that we don't listen for what it is that we might be able to talk right. to Christ about. Yeah. 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 So, I love the Lord so much yes, that I wanted to make sure that I did my fishing. Yeah. And so it's important for me to keep my eyes, my spiritual eyes mm -hmm. open, mm -hmm. waiting for the opportunities right. to be able to cast bait yeah. out to somebody who may be going through yeah. something and dealing with something and be able to tell them Jesus still saved. Amen, yeah. amen. amen. D.L. Moody yeah. tells a story of a young man uh, who enlisted and, and was sent to his regiment. And the first night he was in the barracks, uh -huh. this might be good for you, Samaje. The first night he was in the barracks, about 15 other young men who passed the time were passing the time by playing cards and gambling. Before retiring, he fell on his knees and prayed, and they began to curse him and jeer at him and throw boots at him. So it went on the next night and the next, and finally the young man went and told the chaplain what had taken place and asked him what he should do. The chaplain said, well, you're not at home now, and the other men have just as much of a right to the barracks as you have. Mm -hmm. It makes them mad to hear you pray. And the Lord will hear you just as well if you say your prayers in bed and don't provoke them. Mm -hmm. So for weeks, the chaplain did, after the chaplain had been there and he had seen the chaplain, the young man came in again and he said one day, he said, by the way, did you take my advice? to the young man. He said, I did for two or three nights. Mm -hmm. and, and the chaplain said, well, how did it work? The young man said, I felt like a whipped town. And the third night, I got out of bed, and I knelt down, and I prayed. Mm -hmm. So let me let me set this stage right. for you. He, he stopped praying for a while in front of them or by them mm -hmm. because he felt like maybe that would help them leave me alone. But mm -hmm. his relationship with the Lord was such yep. That he couldn't keep quiet and couldn't keep okay. to himself. So he got that down on his knees. Yes, yes. And he started to pray. Uh -huh. And he told the chaplain that that's what he did. And he said, the young soldier, when he asked how did it work for him, he said, he said we, we have prayer together now. He said, we have prayer meeting yeah. there now every night. And yeah. three have been converted. And we're praying for the rest yeah. of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And D.L. Moody said, I'm so tired of weak Christianity. Uh -huh. Let us be out and out for Christ. Yes. Yes. Let us give no uncertain sound. If the world wants to call us fools, then let them do it. Yes. Right. It's only for a little while, but the crowning day is coming. Yes. 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 Thank God for the privilege we have of yes. confessing Jesus Christ. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A young enlisted man had this opportunity to do that and to share. Yeah. And for a lot of us, we're scared to tell anybody else that that's what we're doing yeah. and that, that we pray. Do you yeah. pray? I, I think yeah. about this because I remember a story of going in, in my own before I eat, I pray. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it doesn't matter where I am, I'm yeah. eat, I pray before I eat. Yeah. Yeah. And I was in a restaurant, I, you, some of you have heard me say that there was a, a guy who, who was a, a Christian and he, he cooked the food. He prepared yeah. the food for people out in the open mm -hmm. where you could go get it. It yeah. was in a hotel restaurant area. Mm -hmm. And and he and I and I bowed my head after getting my food from him and went, you know, went and prayed and uh -huh. the guy came over and walked up to me. He said, he said, I've never seen anybody in all my years mm -hmm. give thanks to the Father all right. All right. for their food mm -hmm. in public. Yeah. He said, now they might be whispering it to themselves, but I've never seen anybody bow their head. God's thing. Yes, and, and I'm not saying that because I'm so good. I'm just saying because you don't know who's watching you. Yeah. Yeah. You, don't, you don't know how your story is to somebody else. You don't know how your testimony is to somebody when you're just doing what you're doing for the Lord. You know, so it's important that you know that somebody is waiting on your testimony. And, and then that question of have you been witnessing, have you been fishing lately? All right. Have you been throwing out some bait to people? Have you been yeah. waiting to hear 
yeah. that, so that you can talk to somebody all about right. Christ. Right. Yeah. How is your life lining up with the Word yeah. of God? How yeah. is your walk lining up with God? Do you complain all the time? Who's going to be attracted to Christ if all we do is complain about how bad it is for me? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, come on. Who, who can believe your testimony about you, a Christian, when all you got to say is, oh, it's bad. Oh, I don't feel good today. Oh, I'm feeling this. So you need to speak life into yourself. You speak health into yourself. You tell God, I, I might not be feeling well, but I thank you for the opportunity to be able to get up in the morning and tell you thank you and to be able to tell somebody else that I got up this morning yeah. and in my right mind yeah. and even if my knees are hurting yeah. I can still stand and get around yeah. I can still drive a car yeah. because God has blessed me with a car yeah. I can still get around even if I can't because yeah. I'm in the city where the buses will take me anywhere yeah. I need to go yeah. I can tell God that he is ready yeah. I can tell somebody else yeah. that I am able and God is able yeah. 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 But my last point I want to share with you on some reading today. Yeah. And I entitled this last point, Bringing It Together yeah. to Win So. Amen, yeah. amen. Matthew 28, 19 and 20. Yeah. Let me backdrop this before I read it. Hmm. My trial sermon, my, my first sermon preached was this passage of scripture. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and I remember as I stood before the people for the first time to preach, <laughs> I was in tears because I was thinking about my grandmother who had not long passed away. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about how she did not have an opportunity to know that her grandson, who she kept taking to church, yep. would one day preach in the yeah. same church yeah. that she was bringing them yeah. to. Yeah. And so I think about that because it was the place that I, I planted my roots, my first sermon that I yeah. wanted to be able to share yeah. and where God was taking me. Mm. And that sermon was entitled, Just Going Out and yeah. Telling the World. Yeah. But here's what Matthew 28, 19 and 20 says. Go ye therefore yeah. and teach yeah. all nations, mm -hmm. baptizing them in the name yeah. of the Father, Father and of the Son mm -hmm. and of the Holy Ghost. When I preach... I talk about the Lord. Yeah. Uh -huh. When I preach, I want to tell somebody about Jesus Christ. Yeah. When I preach, I want to let them know that the Holy Spirit is still moving. Yeah. Yeah. But most of all, even when I baptize somebody, I baptize them in the name yeah. of the Father. Yeah. And in the name of the Son. Yeah. Yeah. And in the name of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. But Matthew went on as he talked about this and taught us what Jesus said. He said, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the world. Amen. Why do I teach? Why do I teach the word? Why am I not worried about whether I'm jumping around, hollering and shouting and doing all that? Because I want to teach you what the word says. The Bible says, teach them what I have commanded you. And so you teach the word. You tell somebody about the word of God. And so that you will know, so that they will know that Jesus still saved. Can they see that salvation in you? Is the question. Does our lifestyle line up with who God is and what God is doing in our life? Or do you still look like the same person you look like yesterday? Right. Are you growing in Christ? Are you being transformed by the renewing of your mind? Right. Is God doing a work in you? Is he really, really doing a work in you? Do you really have a relationship with Jesus Christ? It's more than just walking them through steps. Yeah. It's inviting them into a relationship with God. And God wants a relationship yeah. with them. Yeah. God wants us to bring it together to yeah. win souls. Yeah. That means I got to get my life together so that I can talk to somebody else yeah. about who he is yeah. and what he has done in my life. I cannot bring it together. I cannot win a soul to Jesus Christ if my life is jacked up and messed up and I don't trust God myself and all I do is talk about how bad it is for me. I cannot win a soul to Christ while I'm walking around with my head down and my confidence messed up. 
it's hard to tell somebody Jesus saved yeah. uh -huh. when I'm walking around like I'm all in the doldrums yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah. It's hard to bring it home and win a soul for Christ yeah. when I don't want to walk according to his word. Yeah. Yeah. I want to walk according to my flesh. Yeah. I cannot walk and win a soul to Christ if my life does not line up with yeah. yeah. who God is. Yeah. Bring it together. Yeah. Yeah. Stop talking about the Lord is doing this. Yeah. The Lord understands. He does understand. Yeah. He understands whether we have a relationship with him yeah. or whether we just talking about a relationship with him. Yeah. He understands whether we allowing him to change us in our spirit yeah. now, or whether we still taking our own way, doing our yeah. own thing, yeah. acting our own way. Yeah. He came. Yeah. Jesus came. Yeah. So that we would be free. Yeah. But he didn't just want us to be free. Mm, he didn't come and give his life to die on the cross. Right. On an old rugged cross. Yeah. So you and I can just keep doing the stuff that we're doing. Yeah. And not recognize who he is. Yeah. To not get better. Yeah. To not desire to be the best that we can be. Yeah. To stop making excuses for why we don't. And start doing what God wants you to do. Yeah. I'm telling you, if you're gonna bring it together so you can win a soul, yeah. you can't win a soul in your home if you ain't walking right in. It's yeah. hard to be able to tell by example what you can do. Yeah. God wants us to be able to do this. Yeah. That's his calling on us. Yeah. That's why Matthew 8, uh, 18, Matthew 28, 18 to 20 is so profound. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Because it reminds us before Jesus went yeah. back to heaven to be with the Father, mm -hmm. before he ascended, mm -hmm. he said, I'm commanding you to go. That's right. Mm -hmm. To go. Yeah. I'm commanding you to walk according to my commandments. Yeah. Not according to your feelings. Mm -hmm. Not according to what you think, mm -hmm. but according to what the Word of God is. Yes, yes. 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 Have a relationship with God. Yes, to make a relationship with the Lord your priority. Yeah. So that God can move in oh, your yeah. life. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Bring it home. Bring yeah. It home. Yeah. 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 Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. Amen.